हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज सॉलिड फ्यूल टेक्नोलॉजी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वाइज इट इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली नॉर्थ कोरिया अनाउंस्ड द सक्सेसफुल टेस्ट ऑफ अ न्यू सॉलिड फ्यूल इंटरकॉन्टिनेंटल बेलिस्टिक मिसाइल दैट इज आईसीबीएम नेम्ड वा सॉन्ग एटीन This marks a significant development as it represents the country's first known use of solid propellants in a longer range projectile. Now let's discuss what is solid fuel technology. Solid propellants consist of a mixture of fuel and oxidizer. Typically metallic powders like aluminum serve as the fuel while ammonium perchlorate a salt of perchloric acid and ammonia acts as the oxidizer these components are bound together by a hard rubbery material and packed into a metal casing when ignited solid propellants generate high temperatures and energy creating thrust to lift the missile from the launch pad now moving on to historical perspective on solid fuel technology Solid fuel technology traces back to ancient Chinese fireworks but saw substantial advancements in the mid 20th century with the US developing more potent propellants. The Soviet Union deployed its first solid fuel ICBM, the RT2, in the early 1970s, followed by France S3, SSBS medium range ballistic missile. China entered the solid fuel ICBM arena in the late 1990s. South Korea also claimed to possess efficient and advanced solid propellant ballistic missile technology. Now moving on to solid versus liquid propellants. While liquid propellants offer greater thrust and power, they require more complex technology and additional weight. Solid fuel being dense and burning quickly provides thrust over a short time. Notably, solid fuel can be stored for an extended period without degrading, making it more logistically convenient. Experts suggest that solid fuel missiles are easier and safer to operate, requiring less logistical support, making them harder to detect and more survivable than liquid fuel weapons. Now let's discuss about implications of solid fuel technology. Countries operating large scale missile based nuclear forces prefer solid propellant missiles. They are more responsive during a crisis as they do not require immediate fueling before launch. The development of solid fuel ICBMs like the Hwasong 18 is seen as a significant step in enhancing North Korea's nuclear counter attack capability. While North Korea celebrates the successful test, South Korea's defense ministry downplays it, emphasizing the need for extra time and effort to master the technology. Now it's time for the practice question. Consider the following statements regarding solid fuel technology. 1. In it, metallic powders like aluminum serve as the oxidizer. 2 in it ammonium perchlorate acts as the fuel which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two send the answer of this question in the comment section stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching have a great day for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications